What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hammerstein and today we'll be doing a speed ramp temperature Geekbench and a 3D Mark test here between two flagship killers in 2021. In the first corner over here, we have one of my favourite phones in 2021 and this is the Poco F3 and you guys know we have over here inside the Snapdragon 870, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In the other corner over here, we have OnePlus Nord 2 and inside here you do have the MediaTek Dimensity 1200, also 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage so what we are going to do first of all is check out the temperature and in the room we are in it's about 27.4 let's check out the temperatures over here 34.4 34.1 so not much difference at all and of course the first thing that we are going to do is boot these two phones up and see which one would start out faster so both of these two phones have been charged up to 100% to make it an even better and of course we're going to see which one would perform better in this test. Alright, the Poco F3 is done with the OnePlus Nord 2 still setting up behind. Let's check out the calendar whether it's ready over here. On the Nord 2, it is definitely taking a lot more time compared to the Poco F3 and finally it's done. So let's check out the calendar here, definitely all ready to go on the Poco F3. Whereas over here on the Nord 2, it is quite fair bit behind compared to the Poco F3. So both of these two phones, like I mentioned, have been charged up to 100%, but as you can see, they have dropped down by 1%. In terms of battery size, both of them are pretty much equal, coming in at 4,500. In terms of the display settings, both of them have been maxed out in terms of the brightness and also the display refresh rate as maxed out at 120 hertz. And as we can see here as well, both of these two phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and also location is on every other form of connection is disabled on both of these two phones right now let's check out the temperatures over here 35.6 25.3 so very very similar indeed all right so now let's see that all apps have been closed on both of these two phones all right so we are good to go and in this first test over here we're going to do a speed test so one two three let's go as you can see, both of these two phones do have their gaming modes on. Alright, let's see which one will come out on top. Looks like over here, the Poco F3 just slightly edges the Nord 2 over here. Next up, Pokemon Go. Okay, pretty neck and neck. Looks like the Nord 2 is having a slight lead over here. And yes, we have it over here. Nord 2 ahead of the F3 in this battle over here. Next up, YouTube. Okay, pretty similar. I would maybe say the F3. Instagram. Okay, I think the Nord 2. And then let's go to another big app over here, PUBG Mobile. Okay, looks like the Nord 2 is having a slight lead over here. Pretty neck and neck on both phones. And we are done on the Nord 2. Pretty interesting and very good battle over here. Both of them training bows, blows really, really good. All right, let's close up this one over here. Let's go to Chrome. Okay, this one here, the F3 does take the cake. All right, let's check out the temperatures over here. 36.2, 36.1, so very, very similar indeed. Next up, Facebook. Okay, I think pretty neck and neck on both phones. Let's go to Shopee. Again, on the F3, I think we're just slightly ahead. YouTube Music. Okay, pretty close. Settings. Okay, very close indeed. Next up here, we have Manchester United. Ronaldo, Viva, Ronaldo, let's see which one. All right, okay, I think it's pretty neck and neck on both phones. Premier League. Okay, pretty close. Go to Netflix. 
I think the F3 over here, camera app. Okay, and then let's check out these camera switching. I think the Nord 2 is just slightly faster. Let's go to TikTok. Okay, pretty neck and neck. And then let's go to Twitter. Okay, pretty close. And then let's go to the Play Store. All right, so pretty neck and neck on both phones over here. Let's check out the temperatures. Okay, and I was told to check out behind here. 36.1, let's check out the back here. 36.1 as well. So yes, pretty neck and neck on both phones. Now let's do a RAM test over here. Let's go to Genshin Impact. Okay, a refresh on both phones, pretty disappointing. Let's go to Pokemon Go. Okay, on the F3, surprisingly, it holds up very, very well. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, again, the F3 picks up very well. And then let's go to Premier League. This one's pretty simple. And then let's go to Twitter. All right, both of them, again, very nice. And then let's go on to the Play Store. Okay. So all of them are pretty good in terms of RAM, pretty similar, I would say, not to say very good, but pretty similar. And before we go on to do the GPU test, let's check out the temperatures over here, 36.4, 36.3, so yes, pretty similar. Let's go on to the next test. All right, so in this GPU test over here, I'm gonna export this into 4K at 30 FPS, and let's see which one comes up on top. Looks like the Nord 2 is just blazing ahead of the F3. And we definitely have a clear winner over here. I don't think the F3 is going to catch up over here. And finally, we are done with the Nord 2. Give it some time for the F3 to finish up over here. Temperature wise, 36.4. Here also 36.4. And finally, it's done. All right, so next up, we're going to do a Geekbench test and in terms of the temperature, 36.3 and then let's check out on the F3, 36.3 as well. So yes, it's going to be very, very even over here and just line it up properly before we start this test. Let's go to Geekbench. So over here, we have the MediaTek Dimensity up against the Snapdragon 870. Let's see which one will come on top. And uh, yes, do note that the battery is still at 99, whereas over here on the Nord 2 has gone down to 97%. So one, two, three, let's go. Okay, so we are done here with the Poco F3 and yet again, we still haven't hit the 1K mark on the F3. I think this is the closest that we have gotten on the Poco F3. Temperature wise, 37.6 and let's get it back over here, 36.6. So yeah, depending on what you want, depending on the back on the front, it's the other temperature differences and a multi-core score of 3001. And of course, obviously over here on the Nord 2, it is definitely taking some time over here to finish this up and uh, let's just give it some time and I'll see you guys probably in a little bit it's gonna be done here anyway let's check out the temperatures over here 37.6 as well back temperature 36.7 and I would say the score here is pretty impressive as well 823 and a multi score of 2460 so yes pretty good scores I would say let's go on to the history so as you can see, okay, the closest that we got is 994. We haven't hit the 1K mark and over here 800, which is still very, very good. All right, so now we're gonna do the 3D mark test over here in terms of the temperature, 36.6. And check out the F3 over here, 36.5 as well. Front temperature, 36.9, here 37. So very, very similar in terms of the temperature. So let's just run this test and I'll see you guys when we do get the results. Okay, so we are done here with the Poco F3 4,000 
160 and over here impressively it just gives you a higher score but it was definitely slower compared to the Poco F3 temperature wise 37.6 37.3 check out the back temperature over here 37.5 and let's check out the f3 here 36.9 so yes very very good on both phones all right so let's go on to another test over here which is the slingshot this one will take a bit more time and again i'll see you guys when we do get the results Okay, so we are done here with the slingshot test and as you can see here maxed out in terms of the scores over here 6700 which is still I think pretty decent temperature wise all reaching that 40 degrees mark backwards over here 40.1 and on the back over here 38.9 so very very similar performance and also temperature management RAM management on all both of these two phones so yes if you guys did find this video helpful and also want to see more of these type of videos do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future do also follow me in my social as well on twitter instagram facebook and also here on youtube at dr harmless so that is it this is dr harmless stay safe take care and wash those hands